Now these two guys I can go ahead and harvest. The stem is edible. Technically even the leaves are edible, okay? But generally they're, they're kind of bitter. If you come down here, all of these little stems that are coming out, you can harvest those, okay? So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take this. But what's even better is this. That's just two little artichoke hearts. I can't make any dip out of that. This right here is a wild almond tree, okay? Wild almonds you can eat, but generally you have to boil them first because they have a little bit more cyanide in them than the uh, domesticated version. You can tell the difference by the color of flowers that get produced. White flowers are generally fine. Purple flowers or anything else you need to kind of be wary of. It's usually not a good idea to eat them raw, but look at what we have back here. Look what we have back here. Okay, so if we come back over here, technically we got some bees over in this area. Look at how many of these things we have behind my house. Okay, and these things spread like wildfire right here. But all of this right here is a free food source, all of it. And the county of San Diego, as well as the state of California, is doing everything they can to try to eradicate these, okay? And this is edible, okay? And if you were to go to the store and you were to buy um, artichoke, think about how much all of this, this would cost. All of this right here, how much it would cost. And all of it is edible, like I said. Um, the big difference between this and then the regular artichoke that you get in the store is these are generally smaller, okay? But also, these have a lot of pricklies on them. And let's talk about that. Let's get rid of this. So these guys had been brought over by the Spaniards and later on down the line, some French ended up bringing them over um, to the Louisiana area. Now. These right here are the wild version. In other words, there's all sorts of spines and thorns and everything on them. And these things are razor sharp. And if you, I mean, it'll go right through leather. So even using leather gloves, so you have to be really careful when working around them. But the meat that's on the inside of these guys is nearly identical to the type of artichoke uh, meat that you would end up getting at the store. And even though it looks intimidating um, and it just grows wild and you're like, oh my God, should I trust it? The reality is, is, this is an expensive food source that is free. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken some scissors and I've cut around the outside of it to take the thorns off. They're here. Ignore all this stuff because this is from when earlier today I was making some breakfast sausage. I just haven't cleaned up the cutting board. Um, but I trimmed all of the thorns off, cut the stems off. Now, if the stem was larger, you know, you can um, take like a... Uh, like a vegetable peeler, take the outside off um, because it's kind of fibrous and then you can cook that and you can eat it. You can eat the stems, and like I said, you can eat the leaves, but you want to take the prickly parts off, right? And it's also a good idea to kind of, uh, once again, you know, peel the leaves or whatever the stems, just take that fibrous area out of there. Some parts are more bitter than others, okay? Now, ideally, we would want to steam these, okay? Now, I'm not gonna waste my time with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some water in here and I'm just gonna kinda boil it with the lid on it. So basically, I'm gonna end up throwing this on the stove. I'm gonna get it to come to a simmer boil type thing. Make sure I get a lot of action in here with the steam. And I'm gonna let these guys just boil and steam. It can take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour, just depending, you'll know because the leaves will want to come off easy. See how I can pick it up and the whole thing just lifts? 
those are glued, man. Those are glued. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait until I can take this and it just kind of peels off. Now the first two that I was gonna show you, my camera was off and I thought it was on. So I had to go find two more. And these two were a little bit more getting closer to bloom. But went ahead and I had um, steamed them slash boiled whatever. Um, and now you'll see that these just come right off. And just like a normal um, artichoke, when you start pulling it off, there's going to be little bits of meat inside here on the bottom of these guys, okay? So during the time that you are um, pulling these apart, just like this, you're going to end up finding meat. You just keep cruising and eventually you're going to end up getting to the choke. And the choke is where all the hairs and everything are. And you don't eat the choke. But right here is where all of the hairs and everything are, right? So what we do is we pull all of this stuff off, down here off of the bottom. Something like that. And basically, just this part we get rid of. And this right here, that's your artichoke heart. Even though this is considered wild artichoke, this is an artichoke. That's why it's going to look like an artichoke and it's going to taste like an artichoke. It is good. It's good. It's, mm. it's weird. It doesn't... It's meaty. It's like, um... It's actually good. Tastes like artichoke? Mm -hmm. But it's weird. It's not, um... You know, like, the, cons the texture of a potato. Oh. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. That's good. I'm gonna get rid of okay. it. There's not a whole lot here. But. So there you go, guys. See? Wild artichokes in the back of your house. All over San Diego. You'll find them all over. Just go hiking. You're gonna find them. Take a little cardboard box with you or something that uh, the needles can't pierce to start collecting. You know? And then from there, you can end up making, you know, uh, dip. Or you can end up, uh, you know, jarring them and then marinating them and, and everything like that. Which next season I'll probably end up doing a video about that. Where I'll go back there and I'll harvest a bunch before they flower. Anyways, that's that. Till next time, guys. Talk to you later.